today I'll be painting this image which is right in front of you and let's see how it goes hello my dear lovely people people Since there was a lot of background noise, I've decided to speak like this. That today, I'm going to paint, you know, because I'm a painter. And I'm also going to be talking about one experience I had about home invasion. What? I made it. Look at this. Look at this beautiful eagle. Yes, yes, yes. I made it. Yeah, I made it. I'm so proud. So let's step right into it. I am recording with one hand and I will be painting with another. I have just drawn basic outline of this, the ladybug, the flower, oh, I have these paints ready with me. And my phone, oh my god I don't have phone wait. Uh, so I am also supposed to be sharing my incident of house invasion with you guys right. So yeah, <laughs> so what should we paint first? Okay let me see. <laughs> We'll be using this. This is green, I guess, dark green. For no, wait, I should draw paint first, right? Yeah, yellow. I'm so dumb, guys. So, yes, I'm ready. And uh, where's the ah? Let me see. Um, okay, the brush. And I'll be drawing the petals, painting the petals first. Let's see how we do it. Okay, I have dipped it and uh, dipped it in this yellow. Mm -hmm. I won't be doing entire one. It's okay, this looks good. Oh my god, this is feels so good. There's a leg, I think. No leg. So guys, as I was sharing with you about my experience there. It's actually one of the best experiences out there. Okay. It was my only experience and to be quite honest it was really terrifying. So let's just mm. jump right into it. So this happened around early 2014. I remember that day, it was in March and that day actually I was playing a lot of computer game so my parents were annoyed at me and that day we had some prayer meetings in our church. So we all decided, yeah, we will go, you know, such spiritual people we are. And so we decided to go and I decided to take my phone as well. Everything was fine. We went. The prayer was around from 6 to 8. Yeah, and before the prayer ended, we, me and dad left. And mom and Didi were still praying. So they said, yeah, you can go before us and we'll come. So on the way, we went to a kebab shop. We stopped there. We bought some kebabs. And then we were on the way and we came back, you know, just within 5 or 10 minutes. Now, we found the door open and my dad was like, yeah, mom and we are home. And I was like, wait, what? This seems weird. I made him look down because generally when we come home, we just throw in our slippers, you know, in front of the door. But it was not there, you know, mom's slippers, Didi's slippers were not there. And I was like, how can they come so fast? Like, it takes around... 15 minutes for them and we just came home within 5 to 10 minutes and that's when he got alarmed he went inside we saw such mess and he went inside the room because i'll be sharing you the outline right now of my house and suddenly i'm standing in the living room and suddenly my dad screams oi kya kar rahe and a man literally jumps and there is a crashing noise I was so scared that time my father comes running he's like there was someone in the home someone came to steal something and he went downstairs to catch him and the while I'm alone I don't even know if someone's hiding in my room someone is there someone is hiding in some of the rooms and I was so scared I picked up some stick knife I guess and I was trying to act intimidating while trying to open up the rooms and I was so scared guys and you won't believe when I went inside the room with, and I was shocked everything in the house was dismantled the TV just was dismantled yeah it was dismantled sorry and 
laptop was kept ready and my tuition bag was filled with things you know that dude might take and uh, he was actually trying to search some things and he came across a lot of phone boxes you know we keep a lot of phone boxes and so he was trying to scrounge in between and that's when my dad intervened and what this dude did as soon as my dad came inside and shouted my dad told me he literally jumped out the short balcony now there is a shed just down the balcony so he went and he crashed into that shed and uh, he just came and went running he obviously got injured and my dad went running after him but sadly he didn't get captured but in that process the entire people who lived near me they were all you know there was a lot of commotion and then people were asking what happened what happened you what happened and then we told them about some thievery but luckily nothing was stolen but everything was kept ready you know everything was ready in on the bed and the house was entirely it was like we are moving out and everything was just kept down ready and then police were called we told we gave the description and they said yeah we'll do something and they went and we actually were very scared mom the and me dad so we even locked the doors checked every room if there's someone hiding and we slept that night yeah and then we decided that we'll just put locks different locks you know and then we'll move out and we did actually in 6 months we moved to a different part of delhi same locality but different part so this is my experience when someone broke into my house and stole nothing yes he basically stole nothing he was stupid after all you know jumping from the balcony and by the way we lived on the second floor so it's obvious he broke his bones as well now it is heavily implied that he the person used to stalk us our timings and when we were not at home he took note of it and he actually chose to strike you know because there's a tea shop right down my house and yeah where where the shed is and the tea shop owner told there was a guy actually sitting there when we left and yeah so be careful guys and just be very cautious around you your environment take note who is talking you like who see your house even your house because we don't know because we had no idea like someone is watching our house someone is going to strike
part where I knew I messed up. You know, I was so 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 salty about these lines because they were like, oh my god, this is not giving the impression of a sunflower. It's not looking good. And honestly, those black lines in the middle of the petals were not looking good. Plus, it was looking like a giant mushroom. And so, to make things better, I decided to use a marker to just outline it. And after using the marker, I realized what big mistake I made. And especially after drawing these two lines, I was like, why am I so stupid? Why am I such a... So mom told me that uh, it's not good enough because I ruined it with marker. So yeah, I'll just get back after doing some, you know, corrections. Yes. Be right back. So guys, I am right back. And this is the finished look. How do you find this is? Because, you know, the marker made it such a shame it was not at all looking good and even i myself admitted to that and i wanted to change it so i did some correction some you know tweaking here and there and i find this way better and how do you find it leave a like comment share subscribe turn on bell icons for notifications on new videos and comment down below how do you find this painting and how much price can it get you know yeah you should so yeah take care guys and that's it for today i guess